All right, Matt, thanks. And now that we're a day removed from the firing of Arkansas Offensive Coordinator Dan Enos, people still talking about this. It's a talker. Five News reporter Parker Abel has got an expert opinion on this subject, and he had it to campus to see how students are feeling about the change. Well, the system was really good. I mean, it was a really good system. And I could say Dan's a really good football coach. Um, we, just, we just didn't click in it. Riding a six-game losing streak and coming off their worst offensive performance of the season, the Arkansas Razorbacks made the decision to let go of offensive coordinator Dan Enos after just eight games. I was happy to see the news that he got fired. I mean, especially homecoming weekend against one of the worst teams generally so far this year in the SEC. It's like three points ain't going to cut it anymore. Can't have an offense doing what this offense has been doing over the past few weeks. And then in a game at home, on homecoming, finally being able to play in front of your home fans, putting up three points. And the only reason you put up three points was because the defense got an interception in the beginning of the game. However, the offense has been struggling all season, ranking 80th in points per game. Pair that with their 2-6 and six record and questions begin to arise about which new offensive coordinator they may be able to bring in, especially with Sam Pittman potentially on the hot seat. If, if you're Sam Pittman, you know that you're in a situation, if you keep your job next year, that it's like a win or go home type of thing. And so what type of high quality offensive coordinator is going to come in for a year, you know, if it doesn't go really well, at least not any high quality ones. There's still a chance for the Hogs as wide receiver coach Kenny Guyton is taking over the play calling duties. And while he has a high caliber pedigree, the key to his success may be just keeping things simple. Do what the team does best. You know what KJ is capable of. Do what they do best. You know what the, the offensive line has not been good this year. So instead of having KJ sit back in the pocket for five seconds, Get the ball out of his hands quickly. Don't rely too much on the offensive line. Our new OC is a great guy. I mean, he just played at the uh, Ohio State. I mean, I figure he knows probably a little bit better. We'll see if they can make those plays when they hit the field in two weeks against the Florida Gators in Gainesville. Covering news where you live, Parker Abels, 5 News. And we'll have more on Danino's firing and the man now in charge of the Razorback offense coming up soon in sports.